Good morning friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Medical Classes by Dr. Srinidhi Kumar Acharya. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also please give your valuable comments. You can also visit the playlist. In the playlist I have provided almost all the topics in a very systematic order. You can make use of it. My dear friends, in the last class we were discussing about short stature. We have already covered the first part. And uh, we have seen the definition of the short stature. Anything less than third percent in the growth chart, and also less than two SD. Now, less than third percentile is the cutoff mark for the short stature. Okay. Now, suppose if the child is suppose a case is there where the child is above third percentile, the height is above third percentile, but it is. Almost all 10 centimeter below the target height. Suppose a child is having 150 centimeter of height at the age of 10 years. The expected height of a child, at the example I am taking, is about 150 centimeter at the age of the 10 years. But this child is only having 125 centimeter. But if you go through the chart, height chart, it is not coming under the short stature because it is more than third percentile. So although it is more than third percentile and not coming in the growth uh, short stature criteria, but as the child is having l almost all 15 centimeter less than the expected height, although it is not considered a short stature, it should be considered as pathological short stature because child is having some problem which is running chronically because of which child is not gaining the height. It may be some of the nutritional problem, it may be some of the chromosomal problem or it may be because of some of the endocrine problems or some other systematic problem, systemic problems. This is one point. Because this child, although he is growing above the third percentile, above the level of the short stature, but he is not growing according to its genetic potential. Okay, his genetic potential is more than that is growing he, he has to grow according to the genetic potential but this child as it is having less than almost 15 centimeter less than the estimated grow uh, estimated height level so he is not growing according to the genetic potential therefore it should be considered under the pathological short stature this is one important thing now suppose the mid parental height is seen now this is another important thing that we have to see next how to see the mid parental height that i will explain Suppose the mid parental height is seen and the target height should be around 25 percentile by this age, but child is still on the 10th percentile. Now, suppose we are taking the same case, okay, the same case. What is that? The pathological short stature. Child is above the short stature level, but he is too less than the estimated level of height. Estimated level of the height is suppose 150 cent, uh, 140 centimeter. This child is only having 125 centimeter by this time, so almost all 15 centimeter less than estimated level. In that condition, now you go, you decide that this child is not growing according to genetic potential. Now you go for the mid parental height. Okay, in the mid parental height also says that how to see how to calculate the mid parental height. I will explain. In the mid parental height, that means you have to take the height of the parents both the parents and then we have to put in a formula uh, formula and then we will calculate that if the mid parental height sh shows that height of this particular child should be around 25 percentile but by this time child is only showing 10th percentile more than third percentile is sufficient as to say that this child is not having short stature this child is having 10th percentile that means definitely it is above short stature but Estimated level of mid parental height shows that this child would have been gained the height in the range of 25 percentile by this age, but is only gaining at the level of 10th percentile. That means that he is not growing or gaining the height according to the genetic potential. Genetic potential. So, what I mean to say is don't go blindly. If it is okay, but not growing according to the genetic pressure, that means he is not having the short stature, don't get relaxed. Although he is not having short stature, let us see whether he is going according to the genetic potential or not. 
okay so this is very important so the question is is this is enough to say that this is not pathological short stature is above the short stature level third percentile is it sufficient no we have to see the genetic potential this is what i explained measure both parents height and mark the target height this is exactly the method how we have to do it if the height is less than 2 sd below the target height from the mid parental height okay if it is below then it is pathological otherwise it may be physiological or it may be genetic okay so now uh, suppose child is not growing according to genetic potential then definitely it will be caught here okay now child is having a short stature okay so he is considered under the short stature he is having less than third percentile but he is growing according to the genetic potential so how to find out that that is by calculating the mid parental height okay that is by calculating the mid parental height so how to next see whether next we have to see does this child is growing according to the genetic potential or not if it is not going growing according to the genetic potential we will consider the diagnosis of pathological short stature now if he is growing according to the genetic potential but still he is under third percentile or at the border line then usually we will say that this particular short stature is familial short stature so how to calculate that for the male child the calculation mid parental height calculation is mother's height plus father's height divided plus 13 divided by 2 for the male male child okay why this plus 13 i will explain later for the female child mother's height plus father's height minus 13 by 2 very simple formula okay very simple formula now suppose if the mother's height is 150 cm father's height is 160 cm mother's height is 150 father's is 160 150 one fifty three hundred three hundred and ten centimeter three hundred and ten centimeter divided by two okay three hundred and ten divided by two it comes somewhere around uh, 160 centimeter okay isn't it three hundred and ten divided by or two so five Okay, one fifty-five to one sixty centimeter. In between, it will come, isn't it? So now, one one fifty-five centimeter. You take it at. Okay. Similarly, for the female child, mother's height and father's height minus thirty. Now oh, see, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Three hundred and ten centimeter. Father, mother's height is one fifty, and father's height is one sixty. Three hundred and ten. We have to do plus thirteen. That becomes two hundred and twenty-three. Two hundred and twenty-three divided by two. One, one six. Somewhere around one sixty centimeter. Okay, one sixty-two centimeter. So that will be the target height for this child. That means if the child attains that much of centimeter at the end of eighteen year, then we will say that this child is growing according to genetic according to the genetic potential. Similarly, for the female, suppose mother's height is one fifty centimeter, father's height is one sixty centimeter. Okay, you have to do minus thirteen. That means it comes out to two ninety seven. Two ninety seven divided by two. Okay, one nine. That means somewhere around one forty five or one forty five six. One forty six centimeter. That is the target height. That means at the end of the eighteenth year, that female child has to attain one forty centimeter, one forty five centimeter. if it is attaining 145 cm at the end of 18th year then we will say this child has attained the height according to its genetic potential okay now this is okay now where we have to going to plot this this is what i told at the 18 year of age okay see although child is now 10 year of age child is 10 year of age वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग फॉर द एटीन ईयर ऑफ एज बिकॉज हमें तो ये देखना है कि जेनेटिक पोटेंशियल कितना है इसका अगर अभी ये इसका हाइट है इसके जेनेटिक पोटेंशियल के हिसाब से कितना हाइट ये गेन करना है अठारह साल के बाद आफ्टर एटीन ईयर्स दिस इज वॉट एग्जैक्टली वी वॉन्ट टू सी 
because we are trying to calculate the genetic potential by calculating the mid parental heights so at the 18 year of age no question comes why the 18 year of age because growth will be complete by the age of the 18 years in the male and as well as female the puberty is almost all completed so because of the growth will be completed by 18th year of age so we have taken that 18 year as the point and this point represented also the 50th percentile for the family for the family this point or 18 year also represent the 50th percentile so therefore we have taken the 18th year okay now when it is abnormal so when it is abnormal that means if it is more than 10 cm above okay the genetic potential when you calculate at the 18th year of the age the genetic potential if it is more than 10 cm above the estimated level that that means suppose the height of the child is there height of the child is a <coughs> genetically it is estimated by this by putting in this formula for example 170 cm 170 cm okay or you take 180 cm 180 cm normal 6 feet 180 cm by the end of the 18 year he has to attain about 180 cm suppose now in the 18th year if this child attains more than 10 cm more than this or at the end of 18th year the child attains less than 10 cm this that means either he is attaining 170 cm or either he is attaining 190 cm okay so when it is abnormal then it is more than 10 cm above or below the target height so if it is more than we will call it as short stature uh, tall stature if it is short then we will call it as short stature we will call it as short stature okay in detail again we will discuss the same uh, that we will see in the next class